Hey everybody, it's me, Sung Won, and today we're gonna be opening up another Japan Crate. Thank you, Japan Crate, for sending this. If you wanna get your own Japan Crate, use the link below and the coupon code ProZD Snacks to get $3 off your first Japan Crate Premium or Original. And if you do so, it helps support me, so thank you if you choose to do so. Alright, let's open this up. Here's a Pandaro cookie, uh, shaped like a panda with a delicious butter taste. Looks like Pandaro had a bad time. Uh, but let's try the cookie out anyway. Nice and crumbly and sweet. It does have a nice, very nice buttery taste. The texture is great though, very crisp and crumbly. Here's a Kagabo Hojicha Latte. Um, hojicha is a green tea that is roasted in a porcelain pot over charcoal rather than steamed. I don't know if I've ever had a Hojicha milk tea or a latte style. It does have like a smoky, like, not burnt, but like a smokiness to it. Kind of like caramel notes. It's almost like a kind of like a caramelly green tea milk. Almost borders on like coffee flavors. Here's some Funari Meiji Ichigo Hina chocolate. Um, okay, I guess these have strawberry chocolate cream inside. I open it and immediately smell like real strawberries. So that's a good sign. Okay. So, the description's a little misleading. There's not a melty center. This center is like a, kind of like a delicate rice puff. The outside is covered with like a strawberry cream. So when you bite it, it's very delicate and kind of melts in your mouth, and the outside has the strawberry flavor. It's not like a strawberry center, but it's still pretty good. The light, fluffy texture is nice, and the strawberry cream is very tasty. Here's a peach Hello Kitty candy. It's a gem-shaped candy with a nice peach flavor. I don't know if I'd call this a gem, more just like a standard lollipop. The peach flavor is quite nice, just kind of like a normal peach lollipop. Hmm, here's some, um, Okonomiyaki Taro. Wafer-like strips made it taste like Okonomiyaki, which is a sa savory Japanese pancake. Let's see how much it tastes like it. The texture is a little leathery. Reminds me of, like, a fish snack. We got a very, very hard, chewy fish snack. Once you have it, though, it does taste like Okonomiyaki sauce, like, kind of like that teriyaki sweet sauce. It's a little, maybe a little too chewy, but not bad. Here's some matcha milk caramel corn. Uh, I don't know if I had matcha milk ones. Tohado caramel corn always has a great texture. Very puffy and crunchy. It's got a light matcha flavor. And I guess a little bit of a creaminess, but more on the matcha side. It's pretty decent. It's kind of like a milder matcha snack. Here's a hyoroku mochi, uh, a soft, chewy texture. Okay. This is like an old school snack. It's like this, kind of like a brownish green color. I think I can eat this outside part. Yeah, it, it dissolves. Not bad, very chewy. It's kind of, you know, it's like a rice cake. Flavor is almost kind of like green tea-ish. Almost like this hojicha. I would compare it to this kind of in flavor. Sweet, but like lightly savory and smoky. I'm not sure exactly what's in that, but that's what it reminds me of. Here's some Doraku gum. Ooh. It's bright blue gum, but apparently it turns your tongue red. It's an interesting flavor. It's almost like a cinnamon ramen. -y. Actually, maybe that's what that is, because the outside's blue ramen, maybe the inside's cinnamon. Cinnamon. -y. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's redder than usual. Here's a dragon plum. I guess it's a Japanese sweet traditional one. And it has a Japanese plum inside the candy. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, there's a little little plum in there. That's a very interesting candy. The outside crunchy candy part is like a caramel flavor. The inside is that ch chewy Japanese plum, and that gives it a nice sourness and almost savoriness, um, and a little bit of sweetness. When you bite them, it becomes that kind of this crunchy, chewy combination of just salty, sour, caramel plum mix. Yeah, the, the sourness actually goes well with the sweetness of the caramel. Here's a Naimaiki Shinchan Sushi Do-It-Yourself kit. I think I've already done something very similar to this, um, but that's cool. Here's a Strawberries and Milk Cream Cake. Hmm, okay. Okay, it's like this. It's a nice sweet cake. A little dry, I think. The strawberry cream does shine through. It is a nice strawberry flavor. Um, yeah, but it's a little dry, but not bad. Overall, it's a nice sweet combination of cake, strawberry, and chocolate. Here's a premium umaibo mentaiko. Oh, this is Pollock Row. This sounds pretty dope. I'm gonna try this out. Look at that color. 
I love this. Crunchy Umaiba, it's got a funky flavor. I love Umaiba with funky flavors. Kind of fishy and salty, but spicy and tangy and sweet. It really does not shy away from what you're supposed to be, what it's supposed to taste like. And it tastes like that kind of raw fishiness and sort of the spicy sauce, but I love it. I love that funkiness of the flavors. This is like peak Umaibo for me. I've had a lot of Umaibos in my time, but if they were all as complexly flavored as this, man, they'd be amazing. Here's some truffle milk ganache. I guess they have an orange liqueur kind of flavor. Ooh, very fancy. Okay. It's got a nice kind of creamy chocolate, but firm outside. The inside is a nice liquid kind of ganache. Um, there is a slight liquor taste to it, which I like. It has an, it, get, it adds a nice little complexity to the flavor. Do I taste orange? Not really, but it's mainly it's kind of like a slightly boozy chocolate truffle. Um, but the texture is very nice. It's almost like cakey on the outside, like a cakey chocolate with a liquor chocolate liquid inside. Here's some gummy apple. Uh, pure all. Ooh, I like how these look. They're like little cubes. These are really good. The texture is great. It's very soft and chewy, almost delicate. Um, it's like, it's like some gummies are too chewy. This is like almost, it like melts in your mouth. There's a slight taste of honey in there, um, but the apple taste is very vibrant and tart and sweet. Um, this is a really good gummy. And finally, here's a Kakushidama candy. Um, I guess the color changes as you suck on it. Okay. Flavor-wise, it's kind of like a candy. Maybe vaguely fruit reminiscent, but just kind of sweet. Okay, I cheated and broke through to see what color it is. It's red, it's bad luck. So, great way to end off the video. All right, that was Japan Crate. If you want to get your own, you can use the link below in the coupon code. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.